this is next question what will be the effect of the following on the accounting equation Harish started business hence accounting equation of Harish who started business we will have to draw the format serial number transactions asset is equal to capital plus liabilities and expected assets this is cash stock capital creditors outstanding rent and with the rupee symbols will be there first one hari started business with cash that is cash will increase by 18000 and capital will be increased by 18000 Next one purchased goods for cash five thousand and credit two thousand. Hence total purchase is seven thousand. Cash purchase is five thousand. Credit purchase is two thousand. Second one is purchased goods. Cash is going out minus five thousand. And stock will increase plus seven thousand. Cash reduced by five thousand. Stock increased by seven thousand. That is equal to creditor will increase by two thousand net because we are paying five thousand, we are not paying two thousand. Not paying means when we are buying goods on credit from somebody, it is called uh, they are called creditors. Hence liability will increase by two thousand, and our stock will in aggregate increase by seven thousand. when there are two transactions we have to add that to find out the new transaction that is new equation that is rupees 13000 plus 7000 is equal to 18000 plus 2000 then third one sold goods for cash 4000 costing 2400 costing cost will go out from stock minus 2400 and cash will come in by 4000 and it will give rise to profit which is which is Sixteen hundred added to capital. That is sold goods for cash. Cash is coming inside the business. It is increasing by rupees four thousand, and stock is reduced by twenty four hundred because we are selling stock worth rupees twenty four hundred, and our profit is rupees sixteen hundred. Total will be the new equation. That is, uh, we have to add these two to find out the new equation. After that fourth one, rent paid thousand, rent outstanding two hundred. Total expenditure on account of rent is twelve hundred. It will be deducted from capital. We are paying thousand rupees. Hence our cash will be reduced by thousand. Hence we have to deduct rupees thousand from the cash, and plus two hundred is the outstanding rent will be added to our liability side plus two hundred. That is fourth one is rent paid and outstanding cash will be reduced by thousand and capital will be reduced by twelve hundred plus rent outstanding will be increased by plus two hundred and new equation is cash rupees sixteen thousand stock rupees four thousand six hundred that totaled twenty thousand six hundred likewise capital rupees eighteen thousand four hundred. Plus creditors two thousand plus outstanding rent two hundred. That is twenty thousand six hundred. Both the sides are tallying, and this is the final answer.